Welcome back to this economics video today on income elasticity of demand and its application and importance. Okay, so this video concerns the income. Uh, I don't want that to be elastic. Okay, so income elasticity of demand, its applications and importance. So we just see of the importance of income elasticity of demand, especially in the lens of producers and firms. Okay, so what does income elasticity tell us? Let's let's have a little bit of recap. So the income elasticity of demand measures the changes in demand for a given good when income changes. Okay, so we've learned that in the last lesson. So YED measures how responsive um, consumers are to the demand for a good when uh, their income changes. So this information, uh, the, the YD figures, is really, really important and really, really helpful for producers and firms because it tells them, the producers and firms, the effects on demand changes in income uh, will have on their good. Okay, and, and in previous classes, we've also learned that uh, income, uh, there, there are three types of goods. There are inferior goods, normal goods, and luxury goods. So changes in demand for a good will change according to the, good of, uh, the, the type of a good, as well as the correlation it has with the income of the consumer. Okay, so in a recession, that which, which is defined as a, a four consecutive quarters, or a, a two consecutive quarters with negative income or negative uh, GDP growth, the a recession occurs. So when two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth occurs, a recession occurs. And usually in recessions, the income of consumers and the income of people will decrease. As the income of people decrease, their demand for inferior goods will increase, their demand for normal goods will decrease, and the demand for luxury goods will decrease. Now, why is this uh, information important? for producers and firms. The importance of, uh, of, of YED for firms is that they tell um, them whether or not to produce more goods or to decrease more goods. Let me give you an example. The fast food, uh, fast foods versus sit in uh, restaurants. Okay, fast foods versus sit in restaurants. What is the difference? The, 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 the major difference is that fast food is considered an a, 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 a inferior good. So fast foods are considered inferior goods. Uh, restaurants are considered normal or even luxury goods, considering um, what type of restaurants they have. So in this example, um, for example, um, you are owner of a fast food restaurant, and you see that the YED for your consumers, and you see that the consumers' incomes are rising. When you see that consumers' incomes are rising, you would know that because your fast food is an inferior good, the demand for fast food would decrease. So this will tell, uh, so, so YED tells producers and firms to either increase or decrease production based upon the based upon the uh, in, the changes in income for the consumers. Okay, so this this of course is really really helpful for uh, producers and firms because they will be able to project and be able to uh, uh, perhaps determine in advance what potential uh, demand changes in the marketplace would occur based on changes in the income of people. So now that we have no uh, the importance of 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 YED to firms, what is the application of YED in showing the impact of income changes that it has on the demand for inferior, normal, and luxury goods? So as income rises, demand for in inferior goods decreases. Why is this? Uh, because uh, with higher incomes, with more disposable incomes, uh, uh, consumers choose to go to better sources of uh, goods in order to spend their money. Now, let me give you an example. For example, um, uh, instant noodles. Instant noodles are often seen as inferior good. As your income decreases, you have no other options but to eat instant noodles. Therefore, your demand for instant noodles will increase. However, as your income rises, instead of eating more instant noodles, perhaps you will order Chinese takeout or perhaps you will order pizza instead of ordering, uh, uh, instead of buying instant noodles. Therefore, your demand for the inferior good decreases. Now, another thing, as income rises, uh, demand for normal goods would also increase. Okay. 
normal goods such as uh, sit in restaurants or takeout food instead of uh, ramen noodles. So as uh, because um, in normal goods are better goods, they're not inferior goods, they're uh, more more reputable goods perhaps. So the uh, demand for these goods will increase as the as the income for uh, of consumers increases. Of course, for luxury goods, um, the demand will also increase as, as um, as as demand as as income rises. Another thing, when income decreases, demand for inferior goods will increase. Why is this? Because uh, consumers have no other options for some perhaps poorer consumers. However, also consumers want to save money, perhaps for the future. Therefore, they want to decrease their spending, and therefore buying inferior goods will be a way to decrease your spending. For normal goods, the demand for normal goods will decrease as the income decreases. So, so, so another example of normal goods versus inferior goods is toothpaste, right? You go to a supermarket, you can basically see three types of toothpaste. You can see the cheap, generic brands of toothpaste. You can see the normal, reputable brands of toothpaste. And you can see the very expensive brands of toothpaste. They're all toothpaste. They all serve the same purpose. They're all identical goods. However, inferior goods are like the, the generic, like the cheap, off-of-the-rack ones. Normal goods are the more reputable, you know, you've seen them around. And, and luxury goods is like... A, uh, like very expensive toothpaste, probably imported from like France or Italy or something. So, in the case of decreasing incomes, people would choose to um, buy more of the cheaper goods, uh, in this case the cheaper toothpaste, in order to save money because their willingness and able and a willingness and ability to buy a luxury and normal goods decreases. So also the demand for luxury goods also decreases as uh, the uh, income for uh, consumers decrease. So um, this is the correlations and the relationship between all of these factors and also between, and also, uh, between um, the importance and the applications of YED values when uh, considering the application and importance of a YED for producers as well as for consumers. I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys in the next.